So today we will be discussing about moment generating functions. Okay, now from the name itself, it is clear that it is a function that generates moments. And I hope you all know, by this time you all know what are moments. Right, there are two kinds of moments, that is row moment and central moment. Now let's see how this function generates moments. Okay, but before that we should be familiar with what is moment generating function, what is that function, how it is denoted and uh, let's see the expansion also of that function. Okay, and let's have a look at how this moment generating function can generate moments. So before that we have, will have to consider, as usual we will have to consider a random variable x. And uh, if x is a random variable, then I'm going to consider a value called as t. And uh, t let the value of t lie between um, some other uh, number like minus h and plus h. Okay, so if this is the case, then uh, I hope you all know what is the expectation of x. Similarly, I would like to uh, uh, I would like to point out one thing that is what is the expectation of e raised to tx. Okay, I will write it down. What is expectation of e raised to tx? Okay, now you just keep this in your mind. Now, a moment generating function is uh, expressed as expectation of e raised to tx. And I denote it by m t x. This is how you denote. This is how you denote a moment generating function m t x. And that is equal to E raise the expectation of it is nothing but the mathematical expectation of this uh, function that is uh, e raised to tx. Now I hope you all know what is e raised to x, the expansion of e raised to x. So this expansion you might have learned in your uh, high school session sections in uh, where um, in your mathematics class e raised to x. Okay, now let's have a look at the expansion of e raised to x. E raised to x is nothing but 1 plus x plus x square divided by 2 factorial plus x cube divided by 3 factorial plus etc plus x raised to r divided by r factorial if there are r terms. So that is the expansion of e raised to x. Now I am going to apply this expansion over here in e raised to tx and check whether I can get generate the moments. Okay, so this is let this be a. Now I am going to apply this over here. So when I apply m t x, okay, is equal to expectation of e raised to tx, which is equal to expectation of one plus t x plus t square x square by 2 factorial plus t cube x cube by 3 factorial plus etc plus t raised to r x raised to r divided by r factorial. This is equal to, I am going to take the expectation inside and check. So when I take the expectation inside, so this first term it is a constant, so Const, uh, the expectation of a constant is a constant itself so that is why I am giving it as 1 plus I am going to t is again a constant so I am going to take t outside expectation of x plus t square divided by 2 factorial expectation of x square plus t cube divided by 3 factorial expectation of x cube plus etc plus t raised to r divided by r factorial expectation of x raised to r which is equal to 1 plus t multiplied by what is this expectation of x i hope you all all are familiar with moments right now as i said earlier so what is expectation of x in terms of moments yes expectation of x is the first row moment so how do you denote this first row moment in terms of mu something that you have studied earlier yes it is nothing but mu 1 dash right plus uh, t square by 2 factorial expectation of x square is denoted by mu 2 dash plus t cube by 3 factorial mu 3 dash plus etc plus t raised to r divided by r factorial mu r dash so 
now you just um, have a look at this final uh, equation or final line what is what does it say so now here you can see that uh, there are moments like r moments r rho moments are there right mu 1 dash mu 2 dash mu 3 dash mu uh, etc plus mu r dash so there are moments in this function when you expand this function there are moments so that is why it is said that uh, this is a moment generating function when you expand this you are generating moments over here right so that is by the name moment generating function if you consider the coefficient of t raised to r divided by r factorial it is nothing but the rth row moment of the random variable x that is mu r dash so i hope you all understood why a moment generating function like mtx is named like that why is it because when you expand the function you get yeah you are generating moments when you expand the function that is why it is termed as moment generating function and it is denoted by mtx which is equal to e raised the expectation of e raised to tx so this formula you will have to keep in your mind and of course this expansion too this will help you in solving your problems so this is the uh, equation or the expansion that we got by expanding mtx and then uh, it is clear that as i said earlier mu r dash that is the rth row moment is nothing but the coefficient of t raised to r divided by r factorial in the expansion of mtx now when you differentiate the first equation that is equation number one with respect to t let's have a look what we get so now differentiating uh, mtx with respect to t we get mu one dash since the first term over here is one uh, when you differentiate that becomes zero mu one dash plus t into mu two dash plus three t square divided by three factorial um sorry this uh, becomes i'm really sorry 2 factorial mu 2 dash plus 3 t square divided by 3 factorial mu 3 dash plus etc. It goes on if it if, uh, till the rth, uh, uh, rth term. And if you put t is equal to 0 in this equation, you will get mu 1 dash. That is, if you differentiate your moment generating function with respect to t, and if you put t is equal to 0, then you will get what the first row moment that is mu1 dash or the expectation of that uh, random variable x i hope you all know the first row moment is the expectation of the random variable x right so that is what you get over here so that is uh, i have written this in a box so just keep this thing in your mind this is this is also very helpful when you encounter some problems okay so again i'm going to differentiate this first equation with respect to t square so when i differentiate this with respect to t square what i get is um, mu 2 dash plus 60 divided by 3 factorial mu 3 dash plus etc and it goes on and then if i put t is equal to 0 in this equation i will get mu 2 dash that is the yes the second row moment now you can see a clear connection over here right the first uh, row moment how did you get the first row moment you differentiated the first expansion uh, with respect to t and you put t is equal to zero you get the first row moment so how did you get the second row moment you differentiated again that is your by uh, the, or some uh, you want to differentiate this uh, this term again you get the second row moment or differentiated with respect to t square uh, you will get uh, the second row moment provided you have to put what t is equal to 0 over here then you will get the second row moment so in general you get the rth row moment how will you get the rth row moment it is very simple you have to differentiate it with respect to t raised to r and uh, what which function do you have to uh, differentiate that also you have to keep in mind you have to differentiate this first equation okay and then you have to put t is equal to zero then you will get the rth row moment so that is the general formula now you will have to keep this in your mind so that you can do your problems now we will have a look at the properties of mgf so the first property is if mtx is the mgf of x then the mgf of y the variable y is equal to ax plus b where a and b are two constant are usually denoted by mt ax plus b and it is given by mt ax plus b is equal to e raised to bt multiplied by m atx okay so we will prove that um, m 
ATX plus B is equal to MTAX plus B. Sorry, MTAX plus B is equal to E raised to BT multiplied by MATX. Okay, so we all know that MTX is equal to what? E expectation of E raised to TX. Similarly, MTAX plus B is equal to expectation of E raised to TAX plus B, which is equal to expectation of I'm going to take this T inside, so I get E raised to AXT plus TB. That is equal to, again, by the property, I'm going to split this and write as a, a expectation uh, E raised to AXT multiplied by E raised to TB. Now, E raised to TB is a constant. So, when I um, what introduce expectation inside this bracket, since E raised to TB is a constant, it, I can take it outside. So, E raised to TB is equal to expectation of E raised to ATX. Okay, then now E raised to TB. So, you just uh, look at the theorem. You are getting the first term, right? E raised to TB, instead of that, you can write as E raised to BT. It's, uh, it's fine here, uh, either way. It's also fine. So, E raised to TB, as E raised to BT, multiplied by, now what is this? You all know that expectation of E raised to TX, you know, what is it? MTX. So, similarly, what is expectation of E raised to ATX? What is it? It is nothing but M A T X. So just have a look of, uh, at the second term in the theorem. So these two are same and hence the theorem is proved. Now the second property of MGF is that uh, the MGF of sum of two independent random variables is the product of their MGF. So let's uh, have a look at the proof. Now if let X and Y be two independent random variables, then we have to show that MTX plus Y is equal to MTX multiplied by MTY. Okay, so what is MTX plus Y? That is equal to expectation of E raised to T into X plus Y, which is equal to expectation of E raised to TX plus TY. Okay, I'm going to take this T uh, inside, then I get TX plus TY. That is equal to expectation of E raised to TX multiplied by E raised to TY, which is equal to what is, uh, if I take this expectation inside, what is expectation of E raised to TX? It is nothing but MTX. And what is expectation of E raised to TY? That is MTY. Hence, uh, the theorem is proved.